This is the story of a very cross hot bun. He'd been sitting in the baker's shop for quite a long time. They'd given him a name which was a start and that was Hot Cross Bun, Hobie for short. But things were to change. Mr Baker had made no real attempt to find a new home for him and he was tired of people picking him up and counting how many currants he had, only to be unceremoniously dumped back on the shelf. In a word, he was bored and fed up. But then, one day, a plump, ruddy-faced lady came into the shop accompanied by two children, a boy and a girl. Mr Baker knew them well. They were good customers and came to his shop most days. Good morning, Mrs Bakewell. And how are you, Nigel? Lizzie, you're looking gorgeous today and such a pretty dress, he said with his usual chirpiness. They all politely replied that they were well and were looking for a hot cross bun. Mrs Bakewell scanned the shelves using her expert nose to sniff out the best on offer. Hobie was excited when she had an extra sniff of him. Could this be his day, he wondered. Before he could say Jack Robinson, he was popped into a little brown paper bag and handed to Nigel. He could hear some money being handed over, but didn't care how much. All he wanted was to get out of the shop. He'd been there far, far too long. The Bakewells took the bus home and found Mr Bakewell sitting in the front room humming a new hum. This was a relief for everyone. Nigel and Lizzie went into the kitchen and turned on the grill. Hobie feared the worst and was right to do so. Nigel, without asking questions, slid him in to be toasted. Lizzie was worried that Hobie might get burnt. It seemed like ages before Hobie's horrid ordeal eventually came to an end. Nigel was happy and Lizzie relieved to see that Hobie looked just great on his reappearance. An attractive suntan had made him very alluring. The children tried to explain that this was Good Friday and that every bun had to look its best. Hobie was not amused. He had been simply a plain old hot cross bun, but was now a toasted, very cross hot bun.